when it got too close to the dragon. Number 8. Komodo Dragon Hunting Wild Pig This young wild pig knew his fate was sealed when this dragon attacked and grabbed it. It was only a matter of time before the dragon swallowed the animal whole and alive. The wild boar in this video looks dead, but I don't think it is, because I can see its small tail moving. It's fairly alive, and with the dragon biting into it this way, it's only a few seconds away from certain death. Already infected with this Komodo dragon's bacterial poison because it was bitten earlier, this wild boar was unable to run very far, so when the dragon caught up to it, it began digging inside the animals behind, which confirmed a guaranteed trip to the morgue. The wild boar in this video is barely alive as it lays on the ground, but it can be seen breathing rapidly. As the dragon rips out part of its insides, the animal moves its legs to try and fend off the dragon, but there's no going back at this point. Number 7. Komodo Dragon Hunting Shark This Komodo dragon went for a walk on the beach and found the washed-up shark. The dragon couldn't have asked for more, well, perhaps he could, but this was good enough to start the day. In the coastal area of Komodo Island burrows, Komodo dragons catch sharks. After that, the Komodo dragons eat them and swallow them right away, then return to the forest, as is the Komodo dragon's custom of resting under a tree after eating. This Komodo dragon went for a walk on the beach and found the washed-up white-tip shark. The dragon couldn't have asked for more. Well, perhaps he could, but this was good enough to start the day. Number 6. Komodo Dragon Hunting Stingray Did you know Komodo dragons eat stingrays? Well, if you didn't, they do. And you can see how th this video as this Komodo swallows a stingray whole. Komodo dragons eat all types of meat, whether fresh or dead. As its mouth cavity is wide like that of a crocodile, the Komodo dragon consumes its food without chewing it. That's exactly what it does when it plucks the stingray from the rocks. Two dragons find the dead stingray on the beach, but only one of the beastly lizards is interested in eating it. Wait. No, the smaller dragon steals the stingray and the bigger lizard chases him around, but it doesn't last long. This Komodo finds a beach stingray and decides to have a quick snack. It almost looks like it's a common occurrence for the Komodo to find stingrays on the beach like this. Number 5. Komodo Dragon Hunting Bat The Komodo jumps high enough and grabs a bat from a branch. Once he has the bat in his mouth, it's child's play for the Komodo to eat it. He just crushes the poor bat and eats it whole. That wasn't much of a meal for such a big lizard. Komodo dragons are beasts, but it's the first time I see a Komodo trying to grab a bat hanging from a tree. Komodo tries to climb the tree and for some reason the bat isn't trying to escape. Komodo isn't very good at climbing trees, but when he gets too close, the bat decides to move up a little until he feels safe enough. Number 4. Komodo Dragon vs. Chicken Even though Komodo dragons don't need any help to eat their food, the zookeeper in this video decides to make it easier for the Komodo to eat when it throws a wandering chicken at the dragon. All the dragon must do is swallow the animal. Chickens are feisty little animals and I have seen chickens battle it out with snakes and other animals fearlessly. However, what can a chicken hope for when it's confronted to a determined predator like the Komodo dragon? It will either be turned into chicken parmesan or a chicken barbecue on the grill. Whatever it is, it can only hope for a quick death like the chicken in this video swallowed instantly by the dragon. I mean, what else can a chicken do? Can't outrun the dragon and surely can't outfight it, so besides reciting a few Hail Marys and a couple of Our Fathers, the chicken is doomed. This Komodo snatches one of these chicks and mangles it badly before swallowing it. Imagine being born just to satisfy another animal's hunger. Number 3. Komodo Cannibalism A big Komodo bullies a small Komodo, but the small guy is no match for the big guy and this fight is kind of predictable. It will probably end with the big Komodo eating the small Komodo. 
Adult Komodo dragons are subject to cannibalism, which accounts for 10% of their diet by eating their species young. As a result, juveniles spend the first years of their life in trees. The claws make them great climbers, but only while they're young. As adults, they're too hefty to climb trees. And again, when they're big, they don't need to climb trees because all the other animals are afraid of them. Here is a small Komodo finding out what it's like to be eaten alive. Komodo dragons, as opportunistic feeders, can live on a wide variety of prey across their range, including deer, buffalo, monkeys, birds, pigs, goats, insects, and even humans. Given the opportunity, they can kill and devour their own kind, particularly small hatchlings. Number 2. Komodo Dragon vs. Komodo Dragon you can see these two huge male Komodos fight it out, spitting goo out of their mouths as they hug each other standing up. The sheer scaly bulk of these two 90 kilo beasts is enough to make you never want to meet one in a dark alley. These fights are over the top nuts. It's not every day one can see a dragon, let alone two big male dragons fighting right beside them. Although they didn't have wings and were spitting venom rather than fire, the sheer scaly bulk of these two male Komodo dragons battling it out so close to onlookers was enough to momentarily transport them back to the Jurassic period. Number 1. Komodo Dragon Hunting Horse This horse is being attacked by Komodos, but the horse is not running. It just stands there, probably in shock and unable to move because it's already been bitten. Komodos wait around until the horse falls to the ground and that's when they go for the horse's stomach and eat it alive. Bacterial venom Komodos have is their most powerful weapon. If they didn't have it, they would still be great hunters, but many large animals would be able to fend them off and escape from their grass. The Komodo dragon is one of those animals you never want close to you, unless you have a death wish. Which one was your favorite? Why don't you let us know in the comments below? Well, that's it for now. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and let us know in the comments what you think. Check out our other videos and subscribe to be part of the fun. Click on the notification icon so you can see our new videos as soon as they're uploaded. Thanks for watching and see you next time.